Also on 7, two astronauts back home after uh, getting a checkup and uh, an extended stay in space. They splashed down to Earth, spending nine months on the International Space Station. And this afternoon, we are seeing some new pictures of them. Seven Tavares Jones is live in the Newsplex with those new photos, Tavares. Yeah, Alex, Ethan, it's been roughly 286 days since astronaut Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore have felt the pull of Earth's gravity, gravity of Earth, rather, and now their feet are back on solid ground, something that's been nine long months in the making. Home sweet home. New images released by NASA late Tuesday night of astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, whose planned eight-day mission aboard the International Space Station became a nine-month odyssey. NASA SpaceX Crew 9 touching down at Johnson Space Center in Ellington Field in Houston, Texas, after their International Space Station mission and successful splashdown early Tuesday afternoon. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Drogue descent rate nine <laughs> The relief, the joy, and mission control. Hundreds of miles away from this spot in the Gulf waters south of Tallahassee. As Dragon Freedom continues to make its way back to planet Earth. The chutes deployed as the SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying four astronauts floated toward the water. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. The two astronauts hitched a ride with astronauts Nick Haig and Alexander Gorbanov, headed home from their mission aboard the ISS. As the crew members waited inside, the capsule bobbing in the Gulf alongside a recovery boat. They're getting quick assists from the honorary part of the recovery team, those dolphins. Williams and Wilmore launched from Cape Canaveral back in June aboard the very first manned Boeing Starliner. After the discovery of several helium leaks, NASA ultimately made the Boeing capsule return empty. That's what your nascent human spaceflight program is all about, uh, planning for unknown, unexpected contingencies. And there they were, months later, one by one, help from the Dragon capsule. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. The thing I think back of this whole time frame is how uh, really resilient Butch and Sonny were the whole time. I mean, they launched on what was going to be a short test flight with the crew flight test vehicle with Boeing. It all ended with clear skies and calm seas. You could see the dolphin swimming around the capsule, which was kind of incredible. And better yet, four astronauts now safe at home. Well, they will now undergo a progressive 45 day post mission recovery program where the crew will have medical and performance testing and take part in studies and follow a structured reconditioning program. Live in the Newsplex this noon hour, I'm Tavares Jones, 7 News.